Hi there, it's Ashraf here from Zenon Studios as usual and we are continuing with our AutoCAD tutorials. Well today I want us to move on from the draw tab and uh, head on to the modify tab. Now under the modify tab we have a number of tools that we can use. We have the move, the copy, the stretch, the rotate, the trim, mirror, etc. And we are going to see how to use all of these. Perfect. Now I'm going to draw a simple shape here. I'm going to draw the shape of a rectangle. Sorry, triangle. And we are going to use it to do some of these. Perfect. We have a triangle there. Now before we get into the modified tab, let us discuss how to select items in AutoCAD. Once I click in an empty space and drag my mouse to the right, okay, it, when I click in an empty space on my left and I drag my mouse to my right, I get what we call a blue selection window. So this blue selection window selects my object just like that. So I've selected I've selected the whole object. The alternative to this is hovering over each item and selecting everything individually, which is a bit lengthy. There is another way of selecting and we call this using the green window, but we shall discuss that later. So, um, that's how you select elements in AutoCAD. You can hover over each individual element and select, or you can simply click an empty space and drag. Perfect. So that you can select. Okay, now let us start with the move command. So, select the move command by clicking it. And once you click it, remember we use the command line to guide us on what to do next. It's telling us to select objects that we want to move. Okay, so I'm going to select the objects. How am I going to do that? I can do the individual selection thing as I've told you. Or I can simply select an empty space and use the blue window to select the whole rectangle. Perfect. And then after selecting the items that I want to move, I press enter on my keyboard. And then it tells us to specify a base point. So a base point is like the point you're, you're using to move these objects. So um, you can specify any point in space. All I want to specify this very point. So click that and I start moving my triangle to any place on my worksheet as required. Now that's the move tool. The next command is the copy. This is similar to the move, only that. The only difference is it creates copies. So let's explore this. Pick the tool. It's telling us to select the objects. So I'm going to click in an empty space. Use the blue window to select the objects. Press enter on my keyboard. Since I'm then selecting the objects I want to copy, enter. Then specify base point. I'm going to specify a base point in space and I can move my triangle by creating copies as you can see. Perfect. Isn't that fun? Okay, then I want to delete all of these. So I'm going to use my blue selection window and I will hit delete on my keyboard. Then uh, let's do the delete. So delete. Perfect. Pan around your worksheet by holding down the wheel on your mouse and then so that you can get that hand. Then pan around your worksheet. Then zoom in and out by rolling the wheel on your mouse. Okay. We have rotate. Same thing. Pick rotate. It's telling us to select the objects want to rotate. I'm going to say I want to rotate everything here. Then press enter since I'm done selecting the objects I want to rotate. Enter. Then specify a base point. I'm going to select this very one. 
and then I can rotate. Okay, okay, yeah. Rotate. I've rotated my triangle. Uh, these commands are almost similar. So let's move on to the mirror. So mirror, it's telling us to select the objects. Click an empty space, use the blue window to select the objects. And after selecting the objects, you want to mirror, hit enter. Now it's telling us to specify first point of mirror line. Now this is like the point that it's going to use to mirror this object to the other end. So I'm going to say I want to my mirror line to be there. And uh, I want it to be vertical and there. So after mirroring, you can see we have now two copies, but one is mirrored to the other side. It's telling us, should we erase the source object? I mean, the object that we mirrored. Should we erase it? I'm going to say, no, I don't want. I need both objects, so hit no. If you want to erase uh, both, you can then uh, hit yes. Let's try that. Mirror this. Mirror line, yes, and it deletes the object there. Control Z. Perfect. Um, so that is the mirror command. Then we have the scale and stretch. We are going to look at those. Let us first look at the trim. Now, in most cases, uh, when you're drawing, you will um, you will have circumstances where you draw lines that are actually um, draw lines that uh, cut each other just like these two lines that I've drawn. How do I remove sections from this line? Now most people confuse this trim tool but first things first grab the trim tool it's telling us to select the objects. Ignore that. Just hit enter. And once you hit enter, remove any extension from any line that you don't want. Just like that. Just like that. Okay. Perfect. 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 Uh, you can press Ctrl Z to undo the previous command. Um, trim. Uh, just grab the trim tool, hit enter, and after hitting enter, hover over the object you want to trim, and it will trim that object for you, nice and easy. Alright, uh, we shall discuss other ways of using the trim tool in future, but for now let's go with that. Then we have the fillet. Now the fillet maybe you have two lines just like these ones and you want to create a curved edge around these two lines this is the command that you use so grab the fillet command it's telling us to select first object and i'll select um okay the command line is saying select first object all radius so i'm going to first input the radius of the arc that i want to join these two lines so I'm going to say I want this radius to be 10. Perfect. Enter. Then select first object. This is my first object. Select second object. This is my second object. And it will automatically draw that radius. And we have created a fillet. Now this has a drop down and under it there are a chamfers and blended curves. Now a chamfer is the opposite, it's a line. So, okay, so we have the erase tool. I normally never use this because it's the same as delete. But uh, grab the erase tool and select the objects you want to erase, hover over them, like that. Select objects after selecting, hit enter. The alternative to this, I'm hitting control Z to undo. The alternative to this is simply select the objects and hit delete on your keyboard delete and uh, the object is deleted perfect um then we have uh, explode 
explored now um if you remember what we discussed about the polyline we say that if you draw a chain of lines using a polyline these are going to be grouped together and once you try to select a single segment of the line the whole chain of lines is selected but what if i want to individually select a portion of this polyline what do i do i simply first explode this chain of lines eh? you get the logic explode the chain of lines and then work on a single individual element so we are going to use this tool pick it saying select object i'm going to select this very polyline and hit enter now after exploding this you can see that now i can select an individual segment this polyline okay i'm going to hit ctrl z to undo my previous actions and you can see now this is back to a polyline and now this thing has a shortcut the explode you can simply select the object and select the polyline and simply hit x on your keyboard it will give you that option for explode and perfect you exploded your polyline um then we have the offset button here so i'm going to select all this select all this and delete i'm going to draw a rectangle to help us demonstrate the offset tool so that is my rectangle supposing i want to draw another rectangle inside this rectangle with the same properties what do i do i simply grab offset it's telling me to specify the offset distance i'm going to say i want to offset this triangle by let's say um by let's say seven seven millimeters hit enter select an object and i'm going to select this one and perfect i offset the triangle inwards by seven millimeters or i can offset this guy outside by seven offset that outside by seven all i can actually um offset this by another distance you can input another distance let's say um 10 hit enter and it does that for you perfect that is the offset thing it can help you offset the whole drawing just like this okay i'm going to now delete all these inside here so that i can remain with that one now let us um, look at another way of selecting. We've discussed the blue window. Let us now discuss the green window. And we've seen that the blue window only selects objects that it covers entirely. You can see this blue window is covering that um, rectangle entirely. That's why it's now selected. But if it covers only partially, it won't select as you can see now if you click an empty space from your right and drag towards your left you get what we call a green window this green window once it cuts any part of the element it selects it right away okay perfect and it's this green window that we use when we are stretching let's say i want to stretch this rectangle towards my right uh, that means I'm going to increase its length. I'm going to use a green window to select that side that I want to stretch, just like that. And I'm going to pick the stretch command, just like that. Then it's telling me to specify a base point. I can specify a base point in here, and I can stretch this rectangle as you can see. Stretched. It's now stretch. How do we scale? Scale. Pick the scale command. It's telling us to select the objects. These are the objects. Hit enter. Then it's telling us to specify a base point. 
and this is my base point and it will scale you can see it brings this rectangle to a smaller scale and it can now put it to a bigger scale just like that just like that isn't that interesting then there is the array command we shall look at that in future then the modify tab also has a drop down and there are a number of options here that we shall also look at later in this channel but for now let's stop here with this tutorial thank you guys please like and subscribe to this channel and you can also put your comments in the comment section tell us where we need to improve tell us what you want us to work on next tell us where you're having challenges so that we can help you as a community thank you for watching goodbye I remain Ashraf from Zenon Studio